In this video, we're gonna be using PAA The Shaving and the Ascension Select Twist Safety Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed, as almost 50% of you who watch these videos have not, I invite you to consider subscribing below. Okay, as mentioned previously, today we're gonna to use a special addition soap. Now, you know me, I don't like to use a lot of limited uh, stuff that that uh, not everyone has an opportunity to get, but this one is special because it's a tribute to Ray Pope, which you see here. Uh, he is just recently back on YouTube. His channel is The Pope Shaves. I believe it's The Pope Shave. Yes, it is. And over here, we have, we have Anthony Esposito, the stallion. You know him, and uh, this is recreating the scene from The Shining you know, where Jack Nicholson comes, he starts busting through the door and goes, here's Johnny. And so they're recreating uh, that scene. And it says right here, if you can't see it, Ray Rum, Ray Rum. And on the underside of this lid, it's got uh, the shaving. It says, this one's for you, Ray, or here's Ray. And uh, it's got a number. I got number 16. This went on sale Cyber Monday. I believe I just got it. Um, yesterday and uh, really, really nice scent on this soap. Uh, the first thing that I get is like a buttery rum and then it's followed by a little bit of bay rum. Beautiful scent, scent strength for me is pretty good. I'd call it about a seven out of 10. Really, really nicely done. And the original of this was made, I don't know, four or five years ago. And this is, they brought it back for one day only. So if you're perusing the BST and happen to see one of these special edition soaps, you might want to pick them up. Again, ordinarily, I don't even fool with SE soaps unless it's something special. And this one is, because um, it's honoring two friends, so we're going to use that today. But also, we're going to use today the PAA Select, or excuse me, the PAA Extension Select Twist. Now, why is this one the Select? It's because this flare tip, which you see right here, screws off. And uh, when you buy this razor, this, this one comes in gunmetal, as you see here. But this screws off, so if you think the handle's too long, you can just unscrew it. And you can also purchase these other uh, flare tips, I'm just gonna call them flare tips, of different colors. So you see there I put the red one on, and this will remind you very much of the Super Speed red tip. And if you look at the knurling on the Super Speed red tip here, you'll see this is very similar. Now, there is a difference, because the knurling on this is good, the knurling on this is great. It is very, very grippy. And it is right up there with the Rex Ambassador or Envoy in its grip. Uh, I would say I might slightly give the edge to the Rex, but this one is very, very close. And some people feel this one is even more grippy than the Rex knurling. So the, the knurling on this, although it looks like this, is much, much different. But you can see the similarity in the flare tips there. And so you can also get Purple, oh, by the way, this was sent to me for evaluation by PAA. I always wanna mention that so you can take that into consideration. But I'm gonna put on the gunmetal because I like this gunmetal look myself. So we'll set that aside, put the gunmetal tip back on. And again, when you buy it, this is the way it will come with the gunmetal. Let's go ahead and undo the, the top here. This is 316 stainless steel. So you know it's gonna be quite durable. On the, on the other side there, you'll see where it says Select Ascension. It also comes with a washer. Now, these are called um, adjustable because you can loosen this a little bit. It is designed to loosen to make it a little bit more efficient. So today I'm gonna to be rolling with the feather blade. I've already got it loaded, but I'm gonna take it off just so you can see the, there is your top cap. It's got those good posts there. We shall put the feather blade down in it and hold it like so. And then we will replace the base plate. And those notches go down in the receptacles there. You put your washer on and then we'll tighten her down. And I'm gonna tighten it all the way up at least for the first pass and maybe I'll loosen it in subsequent passes. Um, but that washer gives you a little more room to uh, adjust. And this razor is designed to do that. So I'm just uh, mentioning it. It's got that double, double open comb, which you see there. Really nice looking razor. Honestly, I was surprised when I got this because I did not expect the knurling to be this good. It, it's quite a handsome razor. So 
We will be using this today. And I'm gonna mention links for these products. The ones that are available will be below. So I always forget to do that, or at least sometimes I do. Uh, so we're gonna start with, of course, the cube, because we're trying to use it. And we'll uh, miss the face. It's just plain water. I get asked all the time where I got that mister. It will be in the links below. Here's our PAA cube. And again, we're just trying to use this. These things last forever. And yes, I have shaved. I have videos up shaving with the cube by itself. It does a good job in its own right. Um, I know Douglas doesn't uh, advertise this as a standalone product, but I've used it for shaving several times. And every now and then, when I'm doing a head shave just off camera, I'll just use the cube, if I'm, especially if I'm just in a hurry. And it works just fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a good product um, and will work. Although not advertised, you can shave with it. And no problem whatsoever. Okay, let's get to lathering. Today we're using the uh, PAA Amber Aerolite brush. And some folks have asked, um, I try to do the lather in a bowl off camera just to save time. But I do have a playlist, which I'll link below for you. And it has lather tutorials and so on in there. P uh, the bowl today is the uh, Captain's Choice. And this is the uh, copper version, which is really my favorite shaving bowl. And we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time lathering. We're just gonna slap it on. As you can see there, the PACK6 makes a good lather with no problem. Really nice hydration in there. Smells great. This soap, man, oh man, it smells nice. <laughs> and so I know you can't order it from the website now, but if you uh, happen to see it on BST and a buttery rum with a little bit of bay rum, if that sounds good to you, I would snag it up if you happen to see one. I don't expect to see a lot of them on BST, but if you do, I would get it if that sounds good to you. I'm not gonna list the ingredients and cost and all that because it's just not available on the PAA websites. All right, so let's get started with the Ascension Select Twist and see how our first passes go, and that feels very nice. Again, the handle here made of 316 stainless feather blade. Very, very nice so far. No problems at all. And uh, the knurling on this, man, it's just terrific. So I would say he nailed it on the knurling. Um, the top cap, by the way, is a, is a zinc alloy. So the, so the, excuse me, the head is not stainless. The handle is 316 uh, stainless. And so far, it's doing a great job. So let's talk a little bit about Mr. Pope. And of course, you know the stallion. Mr. Pope has recently returned to YouTube after about a four year hiatus. I will link his channel below. If you don't know him, um, he is really a uh, pleasure to know. Great guy, he's kind, considerate. Now, a lot of times, you know, he's busting people's chops and uh, folks who don't know him uh, might get the idea that that uh, he's a little rough around the edges, but that is not the case. He is, uh, he, he is quite a nice guy. In fact, the other day I hadn't talked to him for, I don't know, a few days and the first thing he did when we talked was ask about my mom, how it's going. So he is considerate, he is generous, really nice guy. And so I hope you'll uh, consider checking out his channel. He's very funny also. Now, I don't know if he's putting much humor in his videos yet, but he will, he will. <laughs> he, he, is a, he is a guy that I am uh, really honored to be, to be friends with. Uh, he's the type of guy you want on your team. If it's going down, you want Pope on your team, believe me. <laughs> and the same could be said of uh, the Stallion. Both friends for a long time, both great guys. You know the Stallion, you've heard me talk about the Stallion a million times. Um, we'll link his channel below also. Man, this sub smells good. Whew. It's almost got a, you know, sort of gourmand vibe to it. Uh, Junior, the dude of shaving is gonna love this. I almost guarantee it. He is going to love this. If you find yourself being attracted to gourmand scents, this is really nice. And as you can see, no problems lathering with the PIA Amber Aerolite. I think the knot on this is called Stygian. I'm not mistaken. And again, we won't spend all day painting here. We'll just get it on, on and get down to business. Very nice. No problems whatsoever. So the first pass, 
with the uh, Ascension Select was quite nice. No problems whatsoever. No bubbles, troubles of any kind. The soap, of course, is good quality. I believe this is in the CK6 variety, which is um, a good quality soap, of course. And I would argue that the regular Crown King formula is a very good soap as well. And I often buy that because for me, I don't need all the extra moisturizing and butters and, and all that kind of stuff in the shaving soap. I just don't need it. I enjoy it, um, but I just don't need it. So I will oftentimes buy the lower cost Crown King formula, which to me is not an inferior soap. <laughs> now I know some people will argue that, but um, it's not for me. And the razor is shaving quite well. Let's go ahead and loosen it up a little bit. So we're just gonna loosen up a little bit and that will bring a little more efficiency to the razor. Yeah, and I can feel that. And again, this razor is designed to do this. It is adjustable. It's called a twist adjustable for that reason. And that washer, um, I think really helps that situation by, cause it, it still feels snug despite me loosening it a little bit. The last thing you want is a razor that you're loosening like that and it doesn't feel snug. I don't like that feeling at all, which is why when people suggest to loosen the Henson aluminum, I'm like, I don't know about that. I mean, I will obviously try that, but um, this razor is designed to be adjustable that way. So, um, so far, very nice. No problems with it. And uh, it's quite handsome, I would say. Working well with the feather blade there. All right, let's get on with pass number three. And again, I hope everyone is doing well. The uh, the tips for these, you can get, this one is purple, this one is red. Um, those are 1095. All right, let's, let's get on with the lathering for our final pass here. This has been really enjoyable. And so I'm so happy that Douglas brought this soap back to honor the stallion and Ray and just sort of, we can take a walk down memory lane. Um, it, it's really enjoyable, I think. And I know some of the new people may not know some of these guys or they may not know Ray, but I think a lot of you have gotten to know him through the uh, some of the Facebook groups. And it's interesting thing with the purple tip here, one of the early razors that Doug put out was called the Symmetry and it had a purple tip like that. And the first interaction that I ever had with, with Douglas was in a shaving group because people were railing on this gentleman who bought uh, a symmetry razor with a purple tip. And they were just talking all sorts of trash about, at the time, Douglas's company that was called How, Gr How to Grow a Mustache. And they were talking all, all sorts of trash to this guy about the razor was crap and not having ever used it. They just for whatever the reason, did not like the razor or Douglas. And I stepped in to sort of say, hey, you know, why are you cracking on this guy's gear? It's okay if you don't like it, but why are you sort of attacking both the company and the gentleman who purchased this razor? And uh, that, then Douglas was also in the thread. That, that was the first time that I'd ever had an interaction with him, was a sort of, you know, I didn't know really at the time I had, uh, maybe I had used how to grow a mustache soap, but I hadn't really interacted with Douglas. And so I didn't even know who he was at that time. And so, uh, anyway, we s sort of formed a relationship through the <laughs> experience and there have been bumps along the way, as many of you know, but, um, when it comes down to it, this guy just works hard, Douglas and, and friend. Oftentimes we don't mention Fran, we certainly should. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Douglas is like the, uh, he is the gadget king. No one produces more gadgets for things than like these tips. And, and primarily what do these tips do? Again, you can take it off if you wanna shorten the razor or just add color. Cause a lot of people do shave of the day photos and they want the colors to match. So you can put a purple or a red tip on there to sort of match your gear. If you like, I like the the gunmetal myself uh, personally. 
but uh, a lot of people like to match up their, their gear and shave of the day photos. I don't really do that myself. It gets tedious after a while to do shave of the day photos. I used two years ago, but now I just make a slide for the thumbnail for these videos <laughs> just because it's quite time consuming and tedious to try to take good photos and you have to have a light box. You don't have to have a light box, but it helps if you do and to set things up and keep the soap from rolling and position everything. So those of you who do it, hats off to you. Um, it's very tedious, but uh, I enjoy looking at those photos and trust me, the artisans appreciate those photos because although it's not a, it's not a deliberate advertisement, it is certainly an indirect advertisement every time someone makes one. That's why artisans in this community really enjoy almost unprecedented free advertisement. I mean, who else takes pictures of these things and pays, posts them all over the place in many forums and you know what I mean, all these. So in that regard, it's really helpful for the artisans, which is why I think it's really important to have the, the soaps in these tubs that are durable. That way a year from now, this, is, this isn't all banged up. And the first 50 who ordered got a holographic uh, label and I was number 13. It is numbered on the inside of this cap, which is quite cool. So that was a very nice shave. First run with the uh, Ascension Select Twist Razor. Really nice shave overall. I really enjoyed it. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back with the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. No alcohol in it. And I've just put it in a spray bottle. Again, I always mention this because it seems like every video I have a comment where someone's like, where do you get this or that? Look below in the description and you will see products that are available. I just used the PA Allen Block off cam with dry dock, no stinging whatsoever. That was a very smooth shave with the uh, PAA Extension Select Twist or Select Extension Twist, however you want to put it. Excellent first run. Again, really nice adjustable due to that twist. Uh, it's got the washer on there to help with that ability uh, to adjust it. Um, I really enjoyed this. Terrific knurling, by the way. So thank you, Douglas, for allowing me to try this. The first run was a thumbs up. Of course, the shaving, outstanding. I really like the scent of this. That, that. The first thing I get is like a buttery rum, followed by a little bit of bay rum. Um, but the, the, buttery, the buttery rum for me is more prominent. The bay rum is in the background. Terrific scent honoring two terrific guys, uh, the shaving. So look for it on a BST. I don't know that you're gonna see a ton because that is kind of a collector's item, but if you see it and it sounds good, snatch it up. We use the PAA Amber Aerolite and the Captain's Choice um, Copper Lathering Bowl. And we shall finish off today with one of my all-time favorite aftershades, Floyd Black Classic Cologne type scent. Uh, I'm not using the shaving um, I'm not using the shaving uh, splash, although I do have it because it's it's very, very stout. And my wife recently has been kind of sensitive to super, super strong fragrances. And so she'll be coming in here to shower shortly and I don't want to cause her to, <laughs> to cough and, and irritate her. So today I just subbed in the, uh, the Floyd. This is terrific stuff out of Spain. If you can get it, I highly recommend it. It is one of my all-time favorites. All right, everybody. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I have really appreciated this shave. It's been re really enjoyable. Mostly, I appreciate you. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way, and as always, God bless.